Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine coming to you from ITW 2021. Joining me today is Mr. Glenn Lytle. Glenn is the Chief Revenue Officer at Horizon. Glenn, it is a, it's a pleasure to see you today, and thanks for joining us on JSA TV. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Dean. Greatly appreciate the opportunity. You bet, you bet. So we've got a lot to talk about, but before we jump into the meat and potatoes of our discussion, why don't you tell our viewers that don't already know a little bit about Horizon? Great, thanks for the opportunity again. Uh, you know, it's funny, we, we've been around for a long time, but but a small organization, so not not uh, too well known outside of Ohio, been around for 125 years in business. Uh, we're a facilities-based fiber network uh, operator here in uh, in Columbus, Ohio. We've got about 5,000 route miles of, of network, again, focused primarily in, in central and southeast Ohio, but we've, we've stretched out into Dayton, into Indianapolis, so continuing to kind of grow that water stain, providing voice data and internet products, um, you know, throughout that footprint. Outstanding. So I'm a Midwesterner myself. I'm in uh, Northwest Indiana. So as a Midwesterner, I love to hear about the things that are happening in my region of the world. But um, let's talk a little bit about that. Um, you made some significant headlines um, earlier this year by expanding that pure fiber optic network across the Midwest. So why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that network expansion? Absolutely. Yeah, you know, we're we're really fortunate in that we're even talking about expansion during these times, right? I mean, it's it's certainly been uh, uh, an interesting couple of years. So I'd I'd say we're we're certainly uh, in a great position to have a partner like NovaCap that it's enabled us to uh, to expand and and grow both organically and via acquisition. Uh, you know, so we were in a pretty unique situation in that uh, one of our larger um, Customers, a wireless provider, uh, had a small cell dis deployment out in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, and so, again, a year ago, we had no plans to be in Dayton and flash forward to August of, uh, of 2021. And, and we've got an entire footprint in downtown Dayton built out uh, in supplying services there. So, again, kind of an organic uh, growth model with expansion in that regard. But then also, uh, you know, certainly from an acquisitions perspective, uh, we've gone heavy into some markets as well. So we recently acquired a company in Indiana, uh, Infinity Fiber. And so we've got some unique assets that came along with that, connecting us from uh, some of the existing assets we had in downtown Indianapolis uh, up through South Bend, Indiana, and then into uh, Cermak in Chicago. So, you know, some some really interesting opportunity and, and unique routes that come along with, uh, with that footprint. So again, uh, uh, you know, a, a kind of a double-edged uh, sword there, growing organically and, and also from an acquisitions perspective. Yeah, outstanding. Congratulations. I'm sure that route goes right through South Bend or right through South Bend into Chicago, right through Valparaiso, Indiana, which is where I'm located. Yeah, there you go. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but let's let's um, you also debuted a voice um, service, if I'm not mistaken, Voice Connect this year. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Great, thanks. Yeah, you know, we, we've we've had a voice product um, and, and continue to supply, um, you know, basic phone services, SIP trunking, and and PRIs. What we launched uh, earlier this year is is a hosted voice product. So, uh, you know, our our Voice Connect Pro, uh, we've got really three different flavors of it, kind of ranging from a basic uh, handset and soft client for the desktop, uh, ranging all the way up to our deluxe. Uh, so, you know, the, a full unified communications platform where, uh, you know, we've got an app for the phone. You can do text right from the, from the app uh, in, in, you know, kind of pulling everything together and being able to do video conferencing uh, as well. So you're able to kind of point and click, bring, bring users into, um, you know, again, up, up to 200 users to do a, uh, you know, a video conference uh, in that regard. So, you know, really kind of upped our game in terms of voice and, you know, from an enterprise perspective, it, it really helped us um, provide more of a value. So instead of just the data and internet provider, really that full uh, featured voice product has really helped us, um, you know, become a lot more valuable to that, that medium enterprise type customer. Yeah, I imagine with a distributed workforce being uh, kind of the name of the game over the last like 18 months. So I imagine that's a very valuable service to the to those customers. It, it came at a perfect time. It came yeah. at a perfect time, Dean. You know, we were we were kind of working on it. And then I think as 
as we all went to a, a work from home environment on our own, it really helped us kind of ramp that up and, and really put that in the fast track. So it's, it's really been a great and very popular product for us. Outstanding. Congratulations on that as well. Um, but what's next? Why don't you tell, tell us a little bit about uh, what we don't already know about, uh, about Horizon? Yeah, you know, uh, I'd say a, a lot more of the same. Uh, you know, I think we found a good recipe here um, that includes a steady diet of, of, like I said, growth expansion, both uh, organically and, uh, and through acquisition. So we've got a few more uh, acquisition targets that we're working on right now that uh, maybe by the time we get to the conference, we'll be able to announce some, some exciting things there. But, um, you know, for us, I think it's, it's, it's growing both from a network perspective as well as product set. You know, I think, you know, as we continue to grow the fiber footprint, we find that, you know, our customers are certainly just as interested in, in growing the, um, the product set with us as, as they are growing the reach. So, you know, continue to look for those um, opportunities to build out the network, use an anchor tenant to possibly, you know, reach into a new city and, and, uh, and grow in that regard but also looking for small tuck-in opportunities to acquire some network outside of our footprint and, you know, kind of grow the water stain, as I like to say, of, of network. And so, uh, you know, I think it's, again, it's a steady diet of, of, uh, of organic and, uh, and acquisition growth with both network and product. Outstanding. Glenn, uh, thank you for, for being with us today. Um, for our viewers that want to learn more about Horizon, where should they go? You know, we've we've got the the traditional um, you know website, obviously HorizonConnects.com. I, I think uh, we've got a great presence in social media. Would certainly encourage you all to to follow us on LinkedIn. We've got a lot of great content that we put out there, uh, n- not just on on Horizon, but also industry specific. Uh, follow us with our with our newsletter, and then we do a monthly uh, webinar series, which is fun. You know, we've got. We've had the Columbus Blue Jackets on, you know, kind of hearing from their perspective what, what they do from an IT um, infrastructure, getting ready for a game, game time, uh, that kind of thing. We've had uh, healthcare panels, uh, data center panels. So really try to mix it up and, and, uh, and get a good um, kind of array of, of content. So certainly, you know, social media big and, and then following us on, uh, on LinkedIn and uh, in the webinar would be great. Sounds like you're doing everything right, Glenn. Congratulations on uh, what has been a, a very good 2021 for you already. Thank you very much, Dean. I appreciate it. You bet. Thanks for joining us. And for you viewers uh, who are tuning in, thank you for joining us and a happy networking. Mm-hmm.